in order to try to get as many sourdoughs as possible identified in the world, I am on a quest for sourdough. For the moment, we host 107 starters from more or less 20 countries. And so we ended up with 17 sourdoughs from 17 bakeries in Italy, 40, 41, 42 from Hungary. The 64 was an old lady in China. It's, it's sourdoughs with a story where I know the people behind, like 79 is from Josie Baker in San Francisco. 104, 106 and 107 go back to the Klondike Gold Rush. Every library has a librarian. Well, it happens that in this sourdough library, I'm the sourdough librarian. When an idea like a sourdough library uh, pops up and you are able to, to do it from, from, from scratch, well, it's, it's my baby. That's why I grew so much into it. With this one, I have a very special relationship because it was the very first sourdough starter we had. This was my very first sourdough I saw in my life and so I started refreshing it and I, I had to bake with it. I immediately got interested by this dough that I'd never seen before. And being a baker, you want to know more about but what's going on in there and then you start feeding it and you see it bubbling and it's alive, it's like a pet. In the 90s, many people had this little tamagotchi, the, the little thing that you had to feed. And Now, if you killed it, it was okay because you could just reset the whole thing and start all over. Well, here not. We have living sourdoughs. They are bubbly. Every two months, we open the jars and we feed the sourdough with their original flour, following the original recipe, and that guarantees that they are not changing. The fact that we decided to create this library is first of all to preserve its biodiversity. If tomorrow someone who has a sourdough that maybe he or she inherited from its father or grandmother or whatever, and if, if he or she would stop cultivating that sourdough, well, it's lost. In English, we use the word sourdough, but in many cultures, there is no link to sourness. The French ones, they say le vin. The Italians, they use lievito naturale, which means natural yeast. But the most beautiful description for a sourdough is the Spanish word, masa madre, which is the mother dough. When a daughter in the past was going to get married, she received a piece of the mother dough with her in order to feed her family. Well, we, sourdough is, is back on the map. Today there is a revival. Many people rediscover again sourdough and, and that's the beauty. Sourdough bread is so much better for humankind than, than just regular bread that is fermented with yeast. I think that every bread has something good, but sourdough just brings it to another level.